repeating. <laughs> I was just thinking about this energy drink uh, here in South Africa. It's called it's called Dragon. And I was just thinking like I don't. <laughs> it's like. It's, it's a drink for like working class men like that's typically who drinks it so in my mind i'm like if a girl drinks dragon <laughs> it's just like <laughs> there's just something about that picture that just seems off it's like a red flag it's like why why are you drinking dragon what <laughs> what what in you attracts you to that anyway hope you're well you hope you're well 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 Honestly, I don't know what day. Cause what did I say? I said seventy nine. I it might. I think yesterday was seventy eight, but I said seventy nine. So I'm gonna say seventy nine today. It's day seventy nine of this holiday challenge. So yesterday was actually seventy eight. It yeah. I'll say seventy nine, and then if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself. I need to count. Um, the the goal is to make a song a day until the end of the year. December ish. Uh, every Friday, I drop seven songs, seven songs every Friday. And if you want to hear all of them, the link is in description. The link is in the description. <laughs> the song I made today, the song I made today is called Flee. It's called Flee. It's called Flee. It's called Flee. 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 Run away, Flee. Uh, I, I always try to be smooth with it, like just say the thing and then get into the track immediately. But I always forget to swap out the speakers. Anyway. See ya. Way. TBH gon' turn or return to Get an order, gotta get a phone, fly food Gotta tell you something, girl, I think I like you Seen a red in the moment that I hide you Is it fanciful when I pray for real love? Trust in a bitch, that's what make a real thug I can hear all these studies like an earplug If you with it, then I'm with it, that's enough Take me out of the streets Take me for they take me Girl, I think we should leave Think we should flee, yo, babe Take me for they take me Girl, I think we should leave <clears throat> yeah. Double take, where the fuck, girl, I'm dizzy I'm not full for you like a boy tipsy Let's definitely these niggas, let's gypsy Before we do more love, can you kiss me? I'm so sorry, girl, I got distracted Mine is on you, but my eyes where your ass is So perfect, all that I want Let's get the fuck out, these streets are done Take me for what they take me Girl, I think we should leave You think we should flee, yo Take me for what they take me Girl, I think we should leave You think we should flee So many years on my own Tired of being alone Baby, hop on the phone Tell me what are you wrong All these streets are so dangerous They were not made for us What do you say? We just go somewhere that's safe for us My love, I need you My love, I need you My love Let's go far from here Girl, let's <clears throat> That was, um, Flea That was, that was Flea, Flea, Flea Okay These are pack of spoons These Master Chef spoons Um, oh, 
Yesterday was my birthday. Usually this is the part where you edit it out and because there's noise and it's here somewhere really you don't want noise. But I think by this point we've established that I am um, this guy, he's, he's unprofessional. He doesn't care about video quality and people wanting to sleep. He doesn't care. Anyway, yesterday was my birthday. Um, and by the way, all of y'all, every single one of you forgot. I did tell you in my community post, in my community tab, I was like, my birthday is May 1st. Let's see who remembers. Well, it was it was a quiz and you had to answer when you think my birthday is. Huh? Is that how it works? Point is, I told everyone what my, where my birthday was in the community tab and everyone forgot. Boo. Shame. Shame. Shame on you. Anyway, so um, we went out yesterday, went out for dinner to this Italian restaurant. It was, guys, I love restaurants. Not because the food was like, but like, I love sitting at a restaurant and just talking. Like, that's going to be a thing I spend a lot of time doing when I have more money. I can afford to do it now. I just... I need to find more people to do it with. It's also quite expensive. You don't want to do too much. But you can, yeah, you can like make it a once a week thing. I need to get a girl, then I can do it with a girl. Um, anyway, we went to the, the, the restaurant and we're just, yeah, it was just a birthday dinner and we're just talking about random stuff and it was nice. And I was just like, I was just grateful to have people with me because I haven't celebrated my birthday in years like since I was six years old I think this is the first time since then since I was like six that I had my mom is here hold on um so yeah uh, what was I saying So we were at the restaurant. What did we eat? We had pizza. We had two pizzas. It was like four of us. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about how this is the first time I've, I've like done something for my birthday. So it was nice. I was like, okay, I should do this more often. I should go out with people. Um, and do stuff for my birthday. So, yeah. My family is not big on birthdays. Like, whenever a birthday comes, everyone's just like, happy birthday, and then we move on. I don't know if it's like that for you, but like, yeah, in my house, we just, happy birthday, and then we move on. Like, I'll get my mom gifts on days that are not her birthday, and on her actual birthday, it would just be a happy birthday mom. <laughs> like, I've gotten her, like, gifts, like, just randomly, like, for no reason. I'll go out and buy stuff for her and put it in a bag and write notes and give it to her just because I'm like, I feel like it. But then on her actual birthday, it's like, hi, happy birthday, mama. Um, we, we should we should probably do something about that, right? I don't know. I think birthdays are, are big days, you know? It's like the day you are born. It's like just to appreciate that it's not a small thing it's not an insignificant thing that's an important thing and i feel like people are like what's the big deal da, 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 da. but it's like well some people at least are like that but it's like you know as human beings we're very symbolic with everything it's like we're symbolic creatures it's like we have funerals and we have anniversaries for the day people died and we remember them and so why not for the day someone's born why you have wedding anniversaries the day you were married you always remember that so it's like the day you were born is a significant day we should definitely celebrate that so you know uh,
Anyway. Um, there was this girl that was uh, on Instagram. Like, she'd be looking at my stories, right? She doesn't follow me. But I think someone had tagged me in a in their story. And then I think she followed that person. And that's how she found my account. So she'd be looking at my stories. Like every day, just looking at my stories. This has been happening for like a couple days now. Uh, maybe a week or so. So then I was like, who is this person? Because she's, I went on her account. She's, she's pretty. And I, and I think... Because I was promoting my event, so people would be tagging me in their stories, promoting my event as well. So then, um, like, I was like, okay, that's how she's seeing me, because the people that we both follow keep tagging me. So that's, so I thought, okay, once the event is over, she'll stop looking at my stories, because people stop tagging me. People stop tagging me, she kept looking at my stories, so I was like, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to follow her. If she follows back, I'll DM her. So I followed her. She followed back. I DM'd her. Um, and, you know, with, with DMing, it's like, I'm always, I, I try not to do it. I don't do it much. Like, the last time I DM'd a girl was, oh, my God. But well, actually, I did DM her. But I, I know that nah, it doesn't count because I know that girl. I knew her from film school and I was just trying to like say what's up but before that because I did that this week as well before that the last time I DM'd a girl was like a year ago it might be more than that to be honest it's been a while since I DM'd a girl right I'm trying to think yeah no, nah, no, nah, it's been a while um Probably more than a year. Uh, but so I was kind of like, what do I say? Because you know, it's, it's it lacks the when you're DMing, it just lacks the the what what do you how do you describe it? The energy or or the context that you would have in a real life situation. Like, like if you're talking to someone like at a Starbucks or something, like you meet someone in real life, you can have an actual conversation live. Their attention is on you. And you can just, it's natural. It feels natural. Whereas something about texting is just, it's a lot more difficult and just, there's so many ways it can go wrong because it lacks nuance and, or, and it's just, yeah, it's just, it's texting. You know, if you, if you, you know what I'm talking about. So I was like, what do I say? So she posts art on her Instagram page. So I was like, I can't just say like, like, oh, you're pretty or whatnot. Because num- number one, she, the cliche thing, she probably hears that quite a lot. But also it's like, that that's not what I'm looking for necessarily. Well, yes, it is. I am looking for someone pretty, but at the same time, it's like, that's not the thing that I want to focus on because like, what else is there to you? So I was like, she posts art on her page. I can say hello and then send her one of her own posts, one of her own art posts and ask her what inspired it. Da, 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 da. So that's what I did. And then the one I sent was particularly, like, dark and weird. I I didn't know what was going on there. So I was like, I want to know what inspired this and what the idea behind it is. And then she was like, oh, I was in a dark place at the time. Makes sense. So then I was like, um, what did I say? I said, uh, I was like, oh, that's cool. I've been there, too. Uh, how are things these days? And then, in my mind, I was like, actually, how long ago did she post this? And then it was like twelve January, which is just now. Oh, then I was like, oh damn, that did you post this on twelve January? So I guess a better question to ask 
is what is what got you into that dark space and now i'm like is that too personal of a question is that is that is that cuz you know this is i don't know this person but this is the first time we're interacting and it's over text in my mind i'm like are you is that is that uh, some people say yes some people say no i don't know in my mind i'm just wondering is like is that too personal uh i hate texting man texting anyway the goal the goal with this with this individual if i make it far enough i have to be smart i have to like get out of the texting phase as soon as possible because i know i'm bad at it and i don't want to be in it for too long because if i am in it long enough i'm going to back up at some point say something stupid that might get misinterpreted so i say okay set up a video call and then in the video call set up a date done done then once we have the date that's yeah you I'll be able to tell whether this is something worth pursuing or we should just go separate ways cuz it's hard to have a real conversation over text even a video call is better a video call you can have a real conversation but i think in person is the best it's just the best she looks pretty on instagram but i feel like once you go on the on the once you see someone in real life like you know online versus real life two different things i got an incredible compliments um yes oh, it was my birthday now nah, i think she meant it i think she meant it she was like you should model and i was like really i've no one's ever said that to me before which was nice it was like wow thank you um i've never really yeah no, i i don't think i'd ever do that but it was nice you know what never say never i think it would be really interesting to try out imagine me as a model like i never you know million years did i ever think out ever <laughs> say that <laughs> ever do it but you know what it would be hilarious for for past me to be told by future me by the way one day you're going to be modeling like what like but it, it goes to show how m- much your words can impact someone cuz look at me now in this ASMR video talking about oh my god she said i should model and now i'm actually thinking about it i don't know if i'm actually going to do it because you know it's not it's not as simple as someone said model then i go model so so i'm sure there's a lot of steps you have to take to actually getting there and i don't i don't know if i'm willing to put myself through that if i care enough to actually pursue that when i have all these other things that i'm working on right now you know what i'm saying like just to try is is a lot just to try um requires a lot oh by the way <laughs> The gum is almost finished. If you've been following the the gum saga, you know that this thing was full. It was full to the brim with all these gum balls, and it's taken about a month or two. No, a month. Whenever Super Mario came out, the Super Mario movie, that's when I got these gum balls, and that's how long it's taken to to get to this point. So, I eat about two every day. I haven't had any today, and I don't think I will. But usually like generally i eat to a day and that's how i've gotten to this point anyway let me pray and get out of here uh you know i like to pray at the end of all my videos just to impart some blessing some vibes
Yo, I'm gonna. Anyway, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, if you don't believe in prayer, that's fine. You know, I, 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 I think it's, it's, it's a nice thing. It's a nice gesture. And I think prayer works, you know. So I think the, 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 the least you can get out of it is some positive words. The most you can get out of it might be actual change in your life. You never know. So I hope you can accept these words graciously. Dear Father, thank you for this individual watching this video right now, listening, listening in. Thank you for blessing them and making them whole and unique. Thank you that you're guiding them right down the right path. That they're fulfilled, that they're blessed, that they're healthy, mentally and physically, spiritually as well. That you're taking care of them and their friends and their family. I thank you for prosperity over their lives, prosperity in whatever field they choose to work in, whatever path they choose to go down. I thank you that they're blessed and taken care of, that they're finding provision and peace and and fulfillment. Thank you, thank you that you're bringing peace into their lives, you're, you're easing their hearts and their minds. <laughs> Just uh, giving them a sense of joy in their heart. They have a pleasant life, a life that they love. They wake up every morning grateful to be alive, with things to look forward to, people to look forward to. They are loved by their family, by their friends. They are aware that they are loved. They are loved by you and your love emanates throughout their life and changes them. I thank you that they are loved, 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 loved. In your name I pray, in Jesus' name I pray. Good health, love, life, and happiness over them. Amen, 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 amen. Okay. Okay, I'll see you guys. Um. Uh. Yeah.